Universidad de Berkeley en el norte de California. Demostrando apoyo a Occupy Oakland, cientos de estudiantes universitarios se concentran para deliberar en asamblea y deciden tomarse el campo. Las autoridades responden con violencia. En un día de acción a nivel estatal a favor de la educación pública, miles de estudiantes de Universidad de California en Berkeley inundan la Plaza Sproul. Decenas son golpeados por la policía después de que intentan establecer una acampada en apoyo a Occupy Wall Street. Shannon y Kevin es un graduado del Departamento de Sociología de la Universidad de Berkeley. Uh, we gathered at Sproul Hall over there to set up a camp. And many activists from the Public Education Coalition had a tent and we decided to establish a couple of tents there. Julie Klinger is an student egresada de Berkeley. Uh, we were organized by the General Assembly to get into groups to talk about what we might do, what we might not do. But we resolved as a community to be nonviolent, to maintain and abide by the principles of civil disobedience that have a long and beautiful history in this country going back to the civil rights movement and far beyond that. So what we did is we formed what you might call a soft block. We stood together, we linked arms, and we prepared for the police to approach to take down the tents. This is an unlawful assembly in the name of the people of the state of California. I command all those at this location to immediately disperse. We're trying to stick up for this country, this state, and this school. Mientras los estudiantes encadenaban sus brazos para proteger su recién erigida acampada, la policía antimotines avanzó. Entre aquellos en el frente estaban Andrea Rivero y Ramón Quintero. As I was holding my arms with my fellow students here on campus, the UCPD uh, charged. I was thrown to the ground and beaten with a baton. Uh, police were beating my legs even though I wasn't fighting back and I wasn't resisting. They hit me so hard with the baton on my shin that a chunk of skin had actually come off and I was bleeding profusely. They tore the clothes off of me because they couldn't grab me, grab me by the hair, three of them. They pulled me out of the line of students, which we were like holding hands in peaceful demonstrations. Uh, and then they put me down and three UCPD got on top of me, and one of them used the rifle, the, the rifle that they used to uh, shoot the pepper spray. Uh, and that officer hit me in the head. When I asked the officers, the UCPD officers, why I was being detained, they themselves told me, we don't really know who arrested you, we don't even know what the charges are, but we're gonna process you eventually. If there are encampments, if there are Muchos estudiantes les preocupa que la violencia policíaca haya eclipsado la razón por la que miles de ellos habían venido a protestar. Razones como tarifas estudiantiles fuertemente encarecidas. Over the past several years we have seen a significant retreat of state funding and a significant increase in student debt. We've also seen how this has affected the, the demographics that are able to attend this university. Currently, we are facing the prospect of an 81% increase in our tuition to be locked in over the next two years. And this comes already after an over 300% increase in our tuition over the past decade. So this would make in-state tuition for a UC Berkeley student uh, go over the $20,000 20, $20, mark. And this doesn't include living expenses in one of the most expensive areas of the country and the world. Room and board, books, transportation, supplies. So what we're facing here is the prospect of a public education costing upwards of $50,000 a year. In a democratic country, in a democratic society, this is absolutely anathema to everything we are supposed to stand for. This is absolutely anathema to everything that is enshrined in the Constitution and the Bill of Rights and the Master Plan. Reportando para Telesur, yo soy Oscar León, el reportero del Sur.